Greetings, fellow humans, and yeah, it's been another hot minute, but it is what it is. Uh, if you hear some frogs in the background, that means that I'm in Puerto Rico and I'm recording this uh, from Puerto Rico, which I thought would be kind of fitting because, yeah, why not? Uh, this video, it's, it's semi rambly, semi ranty, but it's. Um, it's about specifically my writer journey. Uh, each of us does things that we think is best for our writer journey. Some of them work, some of them don't work, some anxious forwards even you know, slightly towards success. Others are, are null and, and just it becomes a mood point uh, where a mood point where there's just no progress or anything of the sorts. But, occasionally, I get little glimpses of validation um, that explain why I do uh, the things I do in the way that I do. I'm not saying that the way I do is even remotely correct, um, but I'm saying that it is something that um, is very typical of me. Uh, not planning releases for books, that's, that's a bad thing. Um, writing a full-blown dedication in a book, that's a good thing. Uh, with Estrada Crates, uh, I've been working so that each Estrada Crate is as, as particular to the person as possible, that the letter that they get is not just a boilerplate. Um, I'm not a fan of boilerplates. I'm not a fan of copy-paste. I'm a fan of do-it-yourself things uh, and giving the extra mile, especially to people that don't know me but are kind enough to explore my work. Uh, recently, Cammie Martin from Cammie's Corner uh, here on BookTube uh, got an Estrada crate and she was really excited. Uh, I, was I was just as excited, maybe possibly more, um, because... It's something that I, I haven't done many Estrada crates, and, and just to see someone with that enthusiasm, well, obviously I get pumped up. And then uh, Cami did a video, I'll link it down below, and then her mom saw the video, and Cami asked if I could do a crate for her, and I was like, yeah, sure. And... Um, I asked Cammy a bit about her mom since we haven't interacted and just to try to make it as as personable as possible because that's very important to me to, to connect with people. And Mrs. Tina Martin, aka Tina, aka Cammy's mom, uh, sent me a very lovely reply uh, after she got my Estrada crate and I asked her if it was okay if I shared the message, uh, and she said it was fine. She she doesn't she doesn't participate in social media, which means that she's smarter than a lot of us, uh, in the sense that yeah, she doesn't get sucked into the rabbit holes that we probably do fall into. But still, um, she sent me a very lovely message, and I wanted to read it to you. So, without further ado, Mr. J D Estrada. I entered the subject as your contribution for a specific reason. Your words, your works, are your very special life-connecting contribution to this moment in time. I was the fortunate and blessed recipient of your Estrada crate today. Uh, the artwork on the covers is so beautifully done and so perfectly paired with the writing inside. It is so exciting to open and anticipate the contents of your Estrada crate. I am emotional with the whole experience. Your kind words, your posted poems are priceless. I do not really participate in social media, but you're welcome to use any or all of my comments. You, sir, will hear many wonderful things about and share many of your writings, your books. I look forward to curling up in a comfortable chair with iced or hot tea and fall into these books and wander through the words, the messages, the collection of thoughts. To write is to understand life and not understand life is to be curious enough creative enough and courageous enough to explore and then simply unselfish enough to share. I am humbly grateful to own these books and to have been able to speak to you, keep experiencing, keep thinking, keep writing, and keep sharing. 
Your beautiful, precious mom is now forever in my prayers. Good things come from God. She is in the best hands. Thank you for my amazing fun day, and thank you for all your kind words. This is Tina Martin, Cammy's mom. If you ever have a question of why I do the things the way I do it, that I I can't effectively express how lovely that was to to receive, or Cammy's response when she did the video and and her enthusiasm and her support and the support of a lot of people that enjoy the things that I do. Uh, I'm no bestseller. I'm no not in the New York Times you know, bestseller list or anything of the sorts. Uh, but I do put every everything I got into everything I publish and everything I send people because it matters to me. I write under my mom's name and I don't take that lightly. And when I share something with you, I try to give you my best. And when I get the best in response, it shows I did something right. So thank you, Tina. Thank you, Cammy. Thank you, everyone else who supports me. If you'd like an Estrada crate, uh, if you, and you got PayPal, or at the HMOE, I'm doing that for Puerto Rico, um, by all means, drop me a line. And we'll get in touch, and hopefully I can, I can do something and send you something um, that's not just going to be a book, but uh, something that we share. So till next time, peace, love, and Mikey Rose.